Hello everybody, welcome back to Apex Craft. This is Red Lore and I'm just doing a little bit of reading. Um, with the Lost Books mod that's in here. Um, there's not a whole lot of sense in me going over all these books. You guys can put the mod on your own clients and have fun with it. I'm not reading them. Some of them are quite funny. <laughs> uh, let's see, Par uh, Harkensythe Part 2 is today. We'll try to touch on as much of it as I can. Uh, there's some of it that's going to be a little more difficult, like the Necronomicon, for instance. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. This guy, um, who is crafted with Necronomicon pages. Uh, these pages are not craftable, and they are found in dungeons and abandoned mine shafts and other type of random drop places where there are chests. I also had to do quite a lot of work as during the last server restart my ME system lost all of its connections. I had to replace every single ME block. It was a pain in my katukas. Uh Let's see here, what else did I do? I got a lot of blood and a lot of souls. I've used some of it. I ended up with an Afterlife 2 on my Diamond Scythe and a Bloodletting 1 on my Diamond Glaive. Um, also... We're going to go ahead and get this out of the way. And I'm going to need a tool. All right. As I say, get this out of the way. So this is a uh, Soul Shard mod, right? This is how one go really this is the method in which one goes about getting soul shards now with a multi block since we managed to get to the end all right and i need a diamond if i recall correctly and if i right click on this bad boy zoop i have a soul shard and it generates what five more end stone for me as well so We'll, um, I'll pull this up for now, and I might find a better location to actually put it and leave it to, to create some soul shards. Um, and the curiosity was whether or not killing something with a scythe or a glaive... Do, 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 put some of this away. Soul shard. Uh, whether killing something with a scythe or the glaive would bind the soul shard. So let's find that out real quick. Let's find a zombie or something. What's that? Gotta be a textural glitch on my end. Alright, let's see. So we'll. Uh, a chicken, I guess. Why not? Or a pig or something. I don't have... Yeah, we'll just knock this out and get it out of the way. So one of the after effects of the scythe is that... Look at this cow stand over here all by himself. Or not. Come on, over here with you. Um, is that you get a... One of the random drops that you can get out of the scythe with the afterlife on it is... It didn't drop this time, of course. Um, is a, a spawner egg. So, let's see this bind. It did. It's a chicken. Lovely. Okay. So that answers that question. Soul shards? Yes. Alright. So, the first thing we're going to craft today is going to be an overworld amulet. As soon as we get back into the basement, we will take a look. That was a slime just a second ago, and it disappeared. And yes. I am running Matmos, even though it does not have a whole lot of purposes. It adds some... I don't know... Immersion to the game for me, I guess, is the best way <laughs> to put it. Alright. <clears throat> right, so... Uh, we're going to make a... An 
overworld amulet. And you see here that it teleports and it costs souls and blood. So let's make one of these. Yay! Now, what happens is the last place that I've rested, it will transport me to. Let me make sure I've got souls and blood. So you right click on this guy and hold him down. until you teleport. Zip! So, it is not instantaneous. But it takes you back to the last resting, your last resting place. Now, uh, there are also nether and ethereal amulets. So the nether, of course, is for teleporting yourself out of the nether back to your resting place, and the ethereal is for the end. Uh, actually, I believe the ethereal amulet will work in all other dimensions, so Mistcraft dimensions as well. For now though, I will happily hang on to my overworld amulet. Now you'll also see that I've lost some souls out of my soul keeper and some blood out of my blood keeper. So there is a cost associated with this. There's also doo -doo 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 -doo. back down the stairs, craft something else. Uh, let's see here, yes there's also the talisman that we're gonna make. Uh, which is quite nice and quite expensive. There are two of them. There's the Ethereal Talisman uh, and the Regular Talisman. Alright, and we'll make this guy. Now, he costs 10 souls and 20 blood. I happen to have enough of each of those. I also happen to have 26 levels. because I don't know if you lose XP or not. Unbreaking 2, not bad. So let's go die and see what happens. Now I have enough blood and enough souls and I have my talisman. Now here's an angry zombie. Be angry on me, zombie. Oh goodness, you're hurting me. Oh no, don't do that. Oh! Oh, look at that. Now it saved me. And now I need to get away. The amulet broke as well, you'll note. And it used up blood out of my blood keeper and souls out of my soul keeper. Oh goodness. Oh, and I got a zombie head out of that deal. So there's something up, I guess, with whoever or whatever that uh, whatever that mob is. All right, so the eternal or the ethereal talisman uh, is good for five uses, but 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 one has to have a nether star. So it's a it's a one up, if you will, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, it breaks and you get healed full health. Uh, which is quite nice. <clears throat> and I should probably eat. Alright, so. Five souls and ten blood. I happen to have just enough of each of those. I can teleport myself back to the house. I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, so... There are a few other things that we need to, to make and do that I quite simply haven't figured out how to do yet. Uh, let's take a look at the mod list real quick. Uh. Harkin Scythe. Alright. Ah, come on. So, uh, a couple of the things... Ectoplasm, for instance, and Spectral Die. A Lunar Clock, if you will. Alright. Um, blood weave shoes. The the blood weave clothing will allow you to consume blood out of your keepers and get buffs as opposed to getting uh, any debuffs. Um, there's also uh, robes and uh, live metal chest plates, biomass helmets, and do 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 do. There was something else I was gonna. The soul vessels are also items that cannot be. Uh, constructed. Uh, those have to be uh, found as a drop. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
So let's look at making biomass. Um, or do we want, we want a creep ball, I believe. Okay, so let's take a look at the biomass chest plate, which is made from biomass, which is made from a block. Okay, so... And <clears throat> a biomass seed. Alright. Where are they at? They're here somewhere. A biomass seed is made from fermented spider's eye and nether wart. I don't think I have any nether wart. Let's go take a look. I don't. I do have some soul sand, however. Let's, um... I'm gonna venture over to Joel's place, because I'm almost certain that they've got some nether wart. And I'll steal a bit. Uh, where was I headed? Oh yeah, I was gonna put my zombie head up. Mm. Alright, yeah, we'll head over to Joel's place, and uh, I'm gonna get some nether wart, and I'll be back and get that stuff planted. Hang tight! Okay, guys, we're back here. Another wart farm was set up, and I have waited for it to harvest some. So we're gonna come down here, and we're going to put together some of the stuff that we need. Uh, put four of these in. Okay, uh, so what we're going to need is some soul sand because we're going to plant some things. Alright. Put this guy back. And we're going to need uh, to make some creep balls. Like so. Try that again. There we go. Four of those. Now, you know what, let me just start dumping stuff back into the ME system here. Uh, dirt, soul sand, bricks. Okay. Uh, we're also going to need a biomass seed which is made with fermented spider eyes. So let's make us four fermented spider eyes. Uh-oh, what am I missing? Sugar. Yeah, that's probably enough. All right. Four of those guys, and four of these guys, and now we need to make a germinated biomass seed, and if I recall correctly, this is done over here in the blood altar and we germinate these guys and we're gonna have to get more oh it germinated all of them oh awesome okay uh, now here's the interesting part in order to grow these biomass plants uh, we need to get uh, put down the creep ball stuff I believe this will spread so it only really takes just putting down one uh, and then we use our glaive, and we right-click on these guys to poke a hole in them, like we're going to plant something. Oh, because we are. Blop, blop, blop. There we go. And I believe also we can use the blood keeper to... Nope. Okay. Oh, and that becomes a non-germinated seed again. Awesome. All right, well, that's that. Uh, we're going to wait for these guys to grow, but what we get out of this is... 
uh, some biomass like so and you can take nine biomass and you make a biomass block. Now also what we get out of this are helmets, chest plates, leggings, and boots. Um, similar to the way we can take steel and make live metal or wool and make soul weave. So plenty of wool. Let's um there we go see how much more wool we can get. I don't have enough souls. Let's see if I have enough now. No. Oh, I can do seven. How much does one cost? There we go. Ta-da! And with the soul weave... I can make helmets and robes and other cool things. And what this will allow us to do is to... It looks goofy. It will allow us to not suffer as many ill effects. Oh, oh I got wither that time. Lovely. Uh, so the whole the whole set is required uh, to reduce the ill effects of I'm completely out of soul juice. The ill effects of drinking souls or um, the biomass should prevent us from having problems drinking blood. Uh, so we'll wait on the the biomass it grows just like any other plant. Yay! I withered away. What a shame. Alright, and I've got a little bit of time left in this episode. I'm not really sure what it is I want to work on. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's let's put together a remote for my ME system uh, to finish filling up the time here after I get my... Uh, I think my soul stone, or the gravestone mod, needs to be updated again. It's supposed to take all of my inventory, and it's obviously not... Alright. Get this guy back. Alright. So let's let's look at what it's gonna take to make an Emmy remote. Um wireless access terminal. Uh we're gonna need an access terminal. Okay. Try that again. And we're going to need uh, let's see, Fluix Pearl, uh, Fluix Crystals. Okay. Um, Fluix dust. We'll make some Fluix dust here. Okay. These guys. I got a feeling I need to make two of those. That's not what I wanted to do. And we're going to need an energy cell. There we go. So now I should be able to. drop this guy into the controller to sync him. I'm not really sure how it's charged though. Hmm. 
Well, I'm going to have to go look that up because I simply do not know. Wireless access terminal. No power. Well, let me figure that out. That will, uh, we can maybe do that next episode. I'll wait for my biomass to finish growing. I'm going to go and get more blood and more souls. Um, let's see, what else can we make? There's the live metal. We'll work on some live metal. I've got to, yeah, I've got to get more souls, so I might even make, uh, might even make some more crucibles. We'll see. And we'll just call this a short episode. So, yeah, it'll be good. That did cover itself back up. Awesome. Alright guys, it's been lovely to have you along. As always, I hope you're enjoying some of the Harkenscythe mod stuff. I know I am so far, and hopefully we can get to finish exploring it without taking up too much uh, too much more time between episodes. It'll be wonderful. Alright, until next time guys, stay out of trouble, and as always, have fun.